Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I had somebody asked me a question. I had to send me a. I had them send me this file. They're trying to rotate this line, and it. They said it just goes when they're Control D. It goes in sporadically, all over the place. Now, I've had that happen before, but if we zoom in, your line is not being rotated from the end of the line. It is rotating from there, but I would think you'd want that line, you know, on the center. So you could take, there's actually two lines. You could take that line and grab the four point cross and have it snap to there and then double click on it and move that rotation to the center. Then let's see if we can make it mess up. I always like starting perpendicular, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna control D and make a duplicate and let's rotate it 22 and a half degrees. I don't know what is. So then let's do again and see it's working. It's working fine now. At some point, I have had some lines, you know, or some objects just go off chart. Uh, so this is where your uh, transformation docker can help you. If you already have this, I want to make sure there was just one line. And open up the Windows dockers. And yours is either going to try to say transform or transformation docker. And we're going to rotate it with the rotation uh, 22 and a half degrees. And we need, uh, I'm trying to think how many, we need uh, 16 of them. So we only need 15 and there you go. Now by not starting on the, uh, I was making sure we didn't have too many, by not starting on the really the the uh, axis of straight up and down, you can see that your lines are not uh, straight up and down, left or right or right to the bottom. I don't know what your degree is. So the other way to do it is without using the transformation docker, I tried to measure this angle, but I can't figure it out. So we're just gonna take this line and uh, make a new line. So a lot of times instead of trying to rotate a single line around, take a two point line and let's control and hit it. Let's make it pretty thick. Let's make it so we can see it. Make it a little bit thicker so you can see it. And then I'm gonna hit P. This way, that's in the center. Then we can control D and we can rotate it at 22 and a half degree. What this does do you only have to control D that many times if that's what you're wanting. Now, we're way off the chart on the, the link, but I could have made it. Let's just back up and do that um, because we know what length our circle or how big our circle is. Our circle is 5.372, so we can make this 5.372. I must have had a duplicate line in there. And then hit P, put it in the center of the page. Evidently our circle is not in the center. That might be part of it, part of his problem. There you go, now your circle's in the center. And then take that, you know what, let's get rid of the indexing lines because sometimes you'll grab it. Let's just turn them off. Then grab and see what happens, the rotation's already in the center. So rotate them 22 and a half degrees. Control D, I didn't control D it. Uh, 45 degrees and see this way you don't have to delete those um, half of a line out there uh, you could easily cut them out but that's the way to do it and I, I know exactly what he's talking about a lot of time and I wish I could make it happen and if we uh, move the center rotation of this box and rotate it control D and make a duplicate let's uh, Let's go 10 degrees. Sometimes it'll go off course. And mine doesn't do it that often, but occasionally it does. This will stop that. Or if you just happen to be in the center the first time. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.